My name is Cordero Abdullah. I'm a registered nurse, working to become a certified registered nurse anesthetist. So I played collegiate football up through 2014 when I graduated with the general studies degree. I originally wanted to pursue, nurse, pursue nursing, uh, but I let my coaches and my counselors talk me out of it. So I pretty much put myself back into school 2015, knocked out some prerequisites. And then in 2019, I finally graduated with my BSN. I'm currently living in Dallas, Texas, working as an ICU nurse at Methodist Richardson Medical Center. Uh, I've been an ICU nurse for a year coming up this December. When I graduated in 2014, I've pretty much been working my butt off since then. Had to work a full-time job throughout nursing school. Between my wife and I, we have over $100,000 worth of student loans. So here we are trying to double down on paying those off and it's been really frustrating. So a day-to-day -day for an ICU nurse right now, is you never know what you're gonna get going into the day. Uh, of course, there's code blues that we're responding to crashing patients, continual titration of medications that keep blood pressures up or keep blood pressures down. Then you have your patients that were taking care of post-heart surgery. We're taking care of patients in acute respiratory distress. So patients on vents. And then of course we have the whole COVID thing going on. So, so with these patients, of course, we're donning and doffing all of our PPE, our mask, our goggles. And then on top of all of that, you have family that you're trying to keep informed. You never know what you're gonna get. Uh, every patient's different every day is different. So there's two big projects that I've been working on recently. The first one, which is my main goal, is to become a certified registered nurse anesthetist. These are the nurses that administer anesthesia. I really want to work to bring diversity to doctorally prepared nurses. Of the 54,000 certified registered nurse anesthetists in America, only 11% are nurses of color. And then of that 11%, only 1.3 are of African-American background. Another big initiative that I've been working on is the creation of a web application. So with taking care of these COVID patients over the past couple months, uh, I've seen a place where we can add opportunity, a place for growth. So what happens with a lot of these critically ill patients is that some of these patients have six, eight, maybe 10 different medications that are infusing through their IVs. The problem is that not all of these medications are compatible with one another. Nurses have been putting themselves at risk going in and out of the room, changing lines, uh, the IV lines to see what's compatible. So with the technology that we're creating, it won't take nurses as long to figure out what's compatible. So we're pretty much four or five months into the process of developing this application, but I think that it's really gonna impact uh, the healthcare system in a big way. It's gonna minimize risk for nurses and it ultimately is going to provide an opportunity for safer patient care. I chose healthcare because I enjoy the feeling every day when I clock out knowing that I made a difference in someone's day in a positive way. To be an ICU nurse means to be in your A game every day that you come in. It means to be a leader. A hiccup in the care that we deliver uh, could literally mean life or death for the patients that we care for. To be a nurse means to come to work every day and to deliver empathetic care for patients that are possibly having the worst day of their life. Well, I want to impact healthcare in a big way. So currently, my wife and I have a YouTube channel and a podcast that we've been doing over the past two, three years where we've literally helped thousands of nursing students on their journey to become a nurse. Also through the technology that we're developing, I expect that thousands of patients are gonna be able to receive safer care. And ultimately my big vision is to be able to be an example for other brown boys and girls that look like me. I truly believe that we need uh, more culturally competent care in the nursing field. What kind of impacts will I have made in the next five, 10, 15 years? Uh, I will be a certified registered nurse anesthetist I will have developed technology that will have helped thousands of people nationwide. I will have served as a mentor for others that are pursuing the nursing career. And I'd really like to have started some type of nonprofit that is helping with the assistance of the opioid crisis. So six years ago when I graduated, I found out that my sister was homeless and addicted to heroin. So here it is 2020, she still hasn't been able to hold a job or been able to kick this addiction. So I really think that there needs to be organizations to help with the opioid crisis because what we've been doing so far hasn't been working. So what drives me? Uh, really my mom drives me and inspires me a lot. She pretty much had me when she was 18 years old. Uh, my father passed when I was five years old. So as a single mother, she worked full time, took care of my sister and I, put herself through school, and now she's a family nurse practitioner herself. Yeah, just to see the grit that she had and uh, she really didn't take that victim mentality, uh, really drives me to become the best version of myself that I possibly can. I feel like I have no excuses. Thank you guys for looking at my submission. I hope you guys really got a good feel for who I am. I really plan to impact healthcare in a big way. This is just the beginning. I'm only in my second year of nursing, but I have big plans and uh, let's do this. Peace.